last railway budget, the Indian Railways announced a semi-high speed train from Delhi to Agra. However, a year later, the train has not been flagged off as yet. We have Abhishek Dastida, our railway correspondent, to explain why hasn't yet been flagged off. Uh, Shubhajit, uh, as we understand, uh, everything, all the preparation is ready. Uh, there are certain safety concerns uh, flagged by the Commissioner of Railway Safety, which is a safety watchdog. It is not giving the clearance because it has certain concerns about the, you know, because it's going to be the fastest train in India, running at 160 kilometers per hour uh, between Delhi and Agra. So it has certain concerns like when a train moves so fast uh, on the track, uh, will cattle be uh, mowed down, cattle runover cases might increase human runover cases might increase and there are other issues. So that is where the matter is resting. Railways and uh, the Commission of Railway Safety together are trying to work out, figure out a workaround. So Vishak, is that a valid concern? Well, it's a, it's a concern, all right. Uh, but you know, you know, they say that the safest train is the one that doesn't move. So, I mean, safety concern is there and it's very important concern. But uh, there are doubts that if it's big enough to hold back launching of such an important service. So what is like the solution that? that is being suggested? Well, uh, all along there have been talks of uh, erecting fences on both sides of this particular track hmm. so that cattle can't access hmm. the train's right of way. Hmm. But that's a hugely costly proposition and this project was supposed to be Indian Railway's uh, sort of low-cost entry into the you know, semi-high speed club. Mm. The idea was to not spend so much yet raise the speed of an existing train mm. or, or a service. Mm. So uh, erecting fences and uh, uh, Indian Railways uh, in India, the um, experience of, uh, of, of fences has not been very good because fences get uh, uh, stolen. Uh, if they build walls, uh, local residents tend to break those walls, etc. So. Uh, and in any case, the Bhopal Shatabdi, which runs on the same track, runs at a speed of around a top speed of uh, around 150 kilometers. This new train, the Gatiman Express, proposes just uh, 160 kilometers per hour, which, 10 is, kilometers. which is marginally high. So, this uh, concern by the Commissioner of Railway Safety mm -hmm. has taken uh, many railway engineers working on this project mm -hmm. by surprise. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, how important is this project for overall railway network, uh, given that it's been about a year and a half that this government... It is important because it is first of uh, quite a few announced, the same kind of corridors around, announced across the country, mm -hmm. it's first of them. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, you know, railways, thanks to many reasons, congestion, etc., the average speed of passenger trains in India is, you know, 60 to 70, if not less. So. Uh, launching a service which is basically a low cost semi high speed mm. it's basically thought of a service upgrade by the service provider so that way it is important and this project needs to succeed in order for railways to replicate it elsewhere in the country so you heard Avishay that this project is important because it will help upgrade the services all across the country thank you